folks, it's time to talk about a high sea adventure. Dean here and Debbie, they've got a cruise lined up for us and we want you to join us on this cruise. So all our viewers out there, join Two Wheel Thunder on a cruise that's coming up in the end of October. In fact, I'll just let Dean tell us about this cruise. Who's it for? Well, it's for any biker between the age of 40 and 70, pretty much. We like veteran riders on a ship, but we'll take anybody. But our group on the ship is a little different than a normal cruise. We change the dress code on the ship to biker attire for the week. So our formal night is actually leather. Even the wait staff wears motorcycle jackets and t-shirts. Then we bring about 20 vendors on board the ship. Kuriakin, JMP Cycles, those kind of guys. We have about 20 of those set up. They actually give away $20,000 a night in free prizes. We just draw by your cabin room number. Last night on the ship, we draw for a custom bike worth between twenty dollars and $40,000. This year's a Fat Boy and a Street Glide trike. Wow. Uh, but also, of course, it's for a special group we bring on the ship is our kidney dialysis patients. Right. We bring 16 bikers every year on the ship, and we pay for everything. We pay for their airfare there. We bring the medical staff on board to do all the treatments. We give them a balcony suite for the week, $400 to spend. We take them to all the shows to have a good time for a week so they're not hooked up to that machine at home. We actually get them out of the house. Yeah. Now this, you say, it's not a true benefit cruise, but it does have a benefit for these folks that are on dial. Oh, it's huge, yeah. We, we collect about, last year we collected $186,000 yeah. in seven days. But we also gave away $348,000 worth of prizes, so that yeah. kind of helps in that end. But yeah. the thing of it is, we like the Dallas pages to be near our age group, so they all have something in common. Right. So they just fit right in with our group, and I mean, we just take them everywhere. And they actually, some of them party harder than we do that during that week. <laughs> Because they don't get away. They're usually hooked to that machine three days a week and they can't leave their little home area. So we take everything with us and they they have a blast. They have a good time. They now this cruise goes from when to when? It leaves uh, October 30th through November 6th. Leaves out of Port Canaveral, Florida. It's over Halloween, seven days, Sunday to Sunday. It goes to uh, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, Cozumel, Mexico, then Labadee, which is Royal Caribbean's private island. So there's a four, eight hour stop. Second largest ship in the world. It's actually so big you can surf on the top of the ship. Got them all down the center of it. It's it's a monster. It's huge. So this is not a little boat. No, no, this this is luxury ship. It's <laughs> second largest in the world. Sometimes the captain ships a bike or two, which makes it even friendlier. Yeah. But the wait staff on the ship, they really get into the bikers and uh, we just you have to be there to understand what happens. But I'll give you a little clue. The second night on the ship was Halloween. Okay. So that's biker fright night. So it's a three hour party, free drinks the first hour, costume party. And on Wednesdays are fifty, sixty, seventy hippie night, which is another dress up thing if you want to do it, and a thousand plus do that. And then on Friday is our mutiny night. That's our pirate night on the ship. So that's another dress up thing. And on Thursday, we have our veterans night. Forty some percent of our people every year is our veterans. Right. Right. So we have a big tribute to them. That's great. We do have some games and contests that we do also. We have a belly smacker contest where <laughs> they're, you know, the object is to show how bad it hurts when you fall into yeah. the water. And uh, we also have a, a, a topless man contest where the guys don't have a shirt on, the women are blindfolded, the judges, and there's a little bit of touchy-feely going on. And we have, Dean likes to call it the treasure chest contest, you know, so the guys can watch and the it's ladies. A pirate thing. Pirate, pirate thing, thing, you know. Yeah. So the ladies raise money for our Dallas Fund, you know, to help us bring on more patients and stuff. And we have a poker walk also. We, we obviously don't have our bike on the ship, so we can't do a poker run, so we do a poker walk. Mm -hmm. So they go to all of the party locations and stuff. And there's a lot of extra prizes and stuff that we throw in there. Yeah, so. that poker walk paid out $47,000 last year. Yeah. Wow. So a lot of extra things, you know, your day is really full. We have our own nightly show every night on the ship. We have our own comedian that comes on board that's our MC. So your your day is pretty full, jam-packed with lots of really cool stuff to do. So. We've kinda, we, we also have biker bingo on the ship. That's a pirate biker bingo, which is a little different than a normal. We gave away $31,000 last year in pirate biker bingo. And we have a 50-50 every night, which averaged 7000 in cash wow. giveaway every night. Wow. How many people are usually on this cruise? Uh, 1,800 is about the average. Some years we'll balloon up to 2,000, and some years we get down to 15 or 16. Depending, okay. some years we have two cruises. We do Alaska every other year. Oh, okay. So that splits the group sometimes. But we have people this year coming from Australia, New Zealand, Belgium, the UK, Romania. Russia, Romania, wow. 300 Canadians, and every state in the U.S. Okay, so once we, you reach capacity, that's it then? That's yep. it. Once we're, yeah, once the cabins are all gone, sold out, no more, that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, we forgot to tell them we have some private parties on shore, of course. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. We have all Jimmy Buffett's places and Carlos and Charlie's for a private party at all their stops. Okay. And 
I don't know if I should say this on air, but our, our drink package at those stops normally are all you can drink for an hour for $10, two for 20 or three for 30 which if you spend more than $20, dollars you have be unconscious at every one of those places. Right. But I'd like to reiterate, we've got everybody back to the ship. We've had 25,000 passengers. Nobody has missed Never the ship. Never lost anybody yet, so we're doing good. But Margaritaville loves us. We're their biggest revenue day of the year, even bigger than spring break. So they pretty much give us the run of the place when we go. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And for those who out there who might be concerned, you have the top-notch security on the cruise ship, and Absolutely. that is... <laughs> I'm the only security on the whole parties and everything. We've never had a problem ever. Wow. Uh, that's, we're one of the rallies. There's never been a DUI. There's never been an arrest. There's never been anybody hurt. I mean, you know, it's just good, clean fun right. the whole week. Yeah. Right. We right. like to say, you know, most of the people that come with us are veteran riders. They've kind of been there, done that, kind of yeah. been everywhere, looking for something different to do. And we like to say when you take when you take the bike out of the equation, you kind of take the ego out of it, and you get to the heart of the truth, what the biker's really all about. So when they come on the ship, it's like one big family. Every, you know, people make friends for a lifetime when they're on there. And when you come to these rallies, it's really cool, you, but you usually ride with the people that you came with, right. and you don't really get to meet anybody else or know anybody else. And in our, on our ship, you have such an opportunity to be able to do that, that that's where everybody comes back. We have people that have been on all 14 rallies. We have people that come back every year. You know, Most of the time, we have about 50% of our passengers are return cu customers, and the other 50% are new people that come with us. So. Yeah, if you don't make 25 new friends, we're going to be upset. Yeah. That's, that's 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 a good thing. It's like you can, like you say, you get to meet people, get to meet hang out with them on a on a different level. You throw the bike out of there, and now it's like, hey, we're bikers. We're you know the things that we do, and I think the biker community as a whole is one of the most charitable organizations that oh, there is. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, when we get on a ship now, don't get us wrong, we don't have the whole ship. There's about 800 general public. The first couple of days, of course, they're terrorized. Right. <laughs> but then after the second day, they've decided they're not going to die and everybody's having a good time and by the third day they're following us everywhere they go they, they want to be part of the whole event yeah. Yeah. they realize that we're a lot of fun right yeah. right and we've yeah. actually had some of the general public on the ship come down and donate money to the dallas's fund yeah. once they find out what's great. going on yeah. great now so folks can get more information that are out there watching websites where can they go to get and where can they actually how can they get on the cruise well, if they go to our website, it's just highseasrally.com, or they can call us, 800-444-8795. Uh, right now, it'll ring to Dean's pocket, because we transfer the phones oh. when we're at the rallies. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're always accessible. Yep. We always answer the phone, you know, and uh, so we're very easy to get a hold of. Uh, if you are a dialysis patient and you're interested in being one of our patients, uh, we do have a couple requirements. You have to have been on hemodialysis for at least two years. And you have to be one, a motorcycle rider or a family friend or member of somebody who is a motorcycle rider and that kind of jumps you to the top of the list. Okay. But we, all, we do have a website for our charity. It's called the HOHS Dialysis Fund. Dot org and there's also a link to that from our website too but you, either way you can access the information for the Dallas fund too and, and, and one of the reasons we want you to be motorcycle orientated is because you're going to be surrounded by 2,000 motorcycle riders right yeah. so the more uh, you are adapt to that group to the biker culture the, the better more fun I mean we have so. we bring people sometimes that's never rode a bike in their life and that's fine as long as they know that they're going to be yeah. surrounded yeah. by you're going to be surrounded by leather. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. right. Exactly. 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 Don't be afraid of us. Yeah. We're helping you here. Yeah. 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 We're we're enjoying ourselves on a great cruise, and you're also going to be enjoying the fact that you're helping the dialysis oh, folks great, out there. A really great cause. We actually have a guy this year. We're flying all the way from Hawaii. Yeah, from Hawaii. A oh, dialysis wow. patient. He's a, yeah. He's yeah. a veteran and a motorcycle rider. So I mean, yeah. anywhere in Canada yeah. or U.S. or well, any yeah, United sure. States or the Canada, yeah. we'll we'll yeah, fly. We'll, we'll pay for the air and everything. Right, right. And it's, uh, it's really cool. It's because they get a chance to be away from, you know, being tied to a machine. And they, they don't have to think about it. You know, yes, they're having their treatments while they're on board the ship, but they're having an opportunity to see something that they thought they'd never be able to see in their lifetime. So it, it's really great because everybody on the ship gets to meet them. They get to know who they are. They get to, they get to, get to put a face to the charity that they're, they're benefiting, and that really makes such a difference, you know, and really opens up their pocketbook to kind of help because they, they know what's happening yeah. and why they're there. You can yeah. see that dollar's see going right to this, and exactly. that's why. Well, we don't take a penny of it. I mean, Every dime of it goes to that. We take no income from it at all. All the money goes directly we, we to the We do charity. all the paperwork. Nothing ever comes out of that fund unless it's benefiting that person. So. Yeah. That's, great. That's great. That's great. Well, folks, 
join us on this fantastic cruise. Uh, go to the website so you can find out more information. Dean here, Dean and Debbie are definitely going to take good care of us. Hope to see you on the cruise and hope to see you each and every year afterwards. Come on. See you there. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone that joined us this year. So grab your mates and get a cabin for our next rally cruise before they're all gone. I hear his tale of withdrawal symptoms from missing a high seas rally cruise or something terrible. Cause then you know, there's a little pirate in every bugger. Ah.